In this video, we're going to take a look at the steps we need to do in order to figure out the number of significant figures in any value. Now, it's all based on if you have a decimal point or not. We're going to say if your number has a decimal point, move from left to right. And you're going to start counting once you get to your first non-zero number and keep counting until you get to the end. So, we're going to start moving from left to right. When we get to our first non-zero number, that's when we start counting. Our first non-zero number here is 3. So we start counting here at 3, and we count all the way into the end. So that would be 1, 2, 3 significant figures in this value. For the next one, it's written in scientific notation. Remember, we'd only pay attention to this portion. We wouldn't pay attention to this portion of the scientific notation. Again, it has a decimal, so move left to right. Our first non-zero number is actually the first number, which is 9. So you start counting, and then you count all the way into the end. So 1, 2, 3, 4 will be the number of sig figs. Now, if your number has no decimal point, move from right to left. Again, start counting once you get to your first non-zero number, and keep counting until you get to the end. Our first non-zero number here is 2, so we start counting there. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now the next number is tricky, and depending on what your professor says, um, either one of these answers could be true. All right, so we're going to move from right to left. Now most textbooks say that when you're going right to left, if the first number you pass is a zero, that would mean that you have an infinite number of significant figures here. But to simplify things, um, sometimes professors will just simply say you'll skip these zero and start counting here because that's your first non-zero number. So this would be one, two sig figs. So make sure you ask your professor in terms of this situation. Again, if you have no decimal point, you're going to move right to left. If the first number you're passing now is a zero, you could say it's an infinite number, or you could just continue onward until you get to your first non-zero number and then start counting. So again, make sure you ask your professor which way they want you to do a, a value like this. And when it comes to significant figures, that's all you have to do. Learn if you have a decimal point or no decimal point that determines which direction you start moving. Only start counting once you get to your first non-zero number in both situations, and then count all the way until the end. 